Jane, I do not deserve thee. Reverend, thou dost deserve much better. No, Jane, thou art a saint, and I a sinner. I pray for the night we are wed. Jane. Reverend Grange, thou wilt catch thy death. No, no, no. Do not turn away. It is no sin to kiss thy betrothed. Betrothed? She's but a child. Hold thy tongue, Effie Stokes. I am first elder of this colony and not thee. She is of legal age and more a woman than some with twice her years. Now see to the horse. Now. Jane. Sin to kiss thy betrothed, thy betrothed, thy betrothed, thy betrothed. Rock me, mama. Rock me till the dawn. Do, 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 do. Rock me, mama. Rock me till the dawn. Do, Brian. Do, do, do. If you don't rock me, mama, I'll be staying out all night long. Brian. We have a guest. She's answering our mailer. Oh. Hi. The Penitites forbid music. We believe it's from the devil. Sarah's from the Penitite colony, Ryan. This is Sarah Good. Sarah, this is Ryan Dalian. Pleased to meet you. <sighs> Pleasure. Sarah bought a quilt from Uncle Lewis. I was sorry to hear what happened to thine uncle. Ah, here it is. 
The Quilt of Hathor, five-pointed stars, four-legged men. Why, that's the one. Yes, it was sewn in the 1890s by Salem women who were following the occult. I knew the quilt was evil. Well, thanks for bringing it back. I'm afraid not. She doesn't have it any longer. It was stolen. Since we are an extremely secret and closed order, it must have been stolen by another member of the sect. Not a very penitent thing to do. I was glad to see it go. It, it uh, brought dreams and aroused feelings I never knew I had. Sarah, we must get it back. We'd better find you some other clothes. What's wrong with these? They're clean. Thou must dress plainer than that. What? And thou, Mickey, as simple as thou hast, thou must not attract attention. And do not bring thy mirrors. There are punishments. The penitites don't like modern ways. Thou, what art thou saying? A simple you and I will suffice. There's our church. It serves as meeting hall and town hall. It's the center of our lives. This is our barn. We share our goods and services freely, as thou must know. And there's the Reverend's house, the Reverend Grange. Nice place, regular showpiece. And this is our hall, where all the unmarrieds live, the men at one end and the women at the other. And what, they meet in the middle? Never. There are punishments for transgressions. Yeah, I understand. We live the same way. <laughs> this is where we eat, on the lower floor. It's so beautiful here. It's peaceful and quiet. Beautiful. Sarah, welcome among us again. And now it's for our visitors. Ryan and Michelle are my sister's children, guesting with me and investigating our faith. This is Laura, the Reverend Grange's daughter. A pleasure to meet you. It's really beautiful here. Laura and I are betrothed. Oh, congratulations. Something the matter with Laura? This marriage to Matthew has her a little upset. Something she'll have to get used to. What do you mean? All our marriages are arranged by the elders. We don't choose our life partners. They're chosen for us. How awful. We seem to fare a great deal better than the outside world. We thank thee for thy bounty, O Lord, and we beseech thee, watch over us and over our dear departed sister Jane, Amen. who resides with thee now in thy bosom, sharing thy grace and passion, no longer gracing our lives with the joy of her presence, the wonder of her laughter, the radiance of her smile. All these are thy bounty, Lord, and thy joy in her. Amen. 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 Um, she was lovely in body and spirit. Jane Spring had her faults, like the rest of us. Effie, we plain women must guard against envy and not speak against the beauty of the dead.
So, when are you getting married? In a week. When Laura turns 20. I was pledged to Matthew as a girl of seven. Can you imagine marrying someone you were just told to? And what if you didn't love her? Eat thy food. In this colony, we do not question God's will. We never lock our doors. Locks are a barrier to trust. Searching the room should be a snap. Well, we better start now, then. No, it's past 7. The believers will soon be in bed. Bed at 7? We rise and set for the sun. This is your room. Your room is with the men, this way. I'm going to go take a quick look around outside before bed. Who can sleep at 7 o'clock? See you tomorrow. Wages of sin is death. Sin is not for thee to judge, Matthew. We have laws that govern us, laws that condemn thee if he is injured. I love thee, Laura. I've watched thee grow into womanhood. All thy life I've waited for thee. Give me thy razor. Murder's not our way. Then we shall settle this our way. Thou shalt pay. Pay for what? I didn't do anything. Let the truth be revealed at a hearing. A hearing before my father. It is our custom. He will determine the truth and what course of action to take, if any. Let us with pure heart approach the giver of laws, and we shall receive justice. We throw ourselves before thee, O Lord, in the sure knowledge of thy mercy and the earnest hope of thy forgiveness. Come forward. Let the sinner quake before thy gaze, and the pure of heart rejoice in his glory, O most high of highs. Look, I didn't do anything wrong. There's no need for this trial. Young man, this is not a trial. This is a gathering of friends, and I am the channel of God's will. The man is an adulterer. I say he be banished. No. Matthew. A man cannot be an adulterer unless his partner or he is married. Or am I mistaken? They were dancing together. She was in his arms. Laura, is that true? Father, everyone, the fault was mine. I was feeding my horse an apple, and I started singing a song. And before I knew, my feet moved in a dance. I know music is forbidden. It was a lullaby. 
Mother used to sing it late at night when only I could hear. Hush a bye, don't you cry. Go to sleep, my little baby. When you wake, you will find all the pretty little Enough. Home. Music is forbidden. What sayest thou? I was uh, out for a walk, and I saw her dancing, and I danced with her. He didn't know it was wrong. In our world, everybody dances. Shun music and dance. Yet I cannot believe that God intended that a mother could not croon a lullaby to her child, or that child remember and respond. However, whilst thou art among us, thou wilt abide by our laws and by our ways. And thou Stay far from my daughter. Is that understood? Yes, I understand. But Young man, have a care. The next step in dealing with thee will be far less pleasant. Let us move on to other things. The regular business meeting of this colony shall be gathered before God. Sorry for causing you so much trouble. Forget it. Let's just get the quilt and get out of here. There is the check for the six cows we sold. Reverend Grange, uh, there's a question of the state of the colony's finances. There's an Everything here. is in order, sister. Is there other business? Reverend, with all due respect, there's to be an accounting of the colony's finances every quarter. Elder Fraser, art thou implying there's something wrong with the finances? Thou art responsible. I am God's steward here. I control his bounty for this flock. For shame. Is there other business? There is another matter. Thou hast been widowed six months. It's time to take to thee a bride. After Jane, I have no heart for marriage. It is our law, Josiah. The needs of the colony must come first. What would we do should something happen to thee? Thy wife, knowing thee and thy plans best, must be prepared to guide our colony whatever trials God sends us. Thy bride must be near thine own age. Someone the believers may look up to with respect. Oh, yes, yes, of course. A woman who commands respect, who can lead. There can be only one choice. If you'll excuse me. Yes, Josiah. I will be happy to marry thee. Two of us will rule the colony together, my love. And all those who wished ill on me, who shunned me, will now be at thy beck and call. Anything? No, you. Just this. In Matthew's room? Naughty, naughty. Next, I gotta check Effie's room. Something about her gives me the creeps. Okay, look, I've searched through the men's wing. I'm gonna take a nose around outside, all right?
Vanity, vanity, all is vanity. A broken mirror augurs evil. Hast thou brought evil with thee? No, no. Oh my goodness, this isn't Aunt Sarah's room. She said she wanted help with her sewing. I... Why wouldst thou pry through Sarah's belongings? Well, she said her sewing was in her chest. I was going to start without her. Oh, I'm sorry about your mirror. I'll get you another one. <laughs> thou knowest mirrors are forbidden by our laws. <laughs> If this becomes known, I'll see thee suffer, as in the fires of hell. <laughs> the Lord's bounty never tasted so good. Rebecca, thou hast outdone even thyself. Now, Reverend. <laughs> Please, everyone, put down your knives and spoons. I have an announcement to make. Thou knowest it is against Penitite law for a minister to remain unwed. I have sought the Lord's counsel, and I have found a woman suitable to be my wife. Wilt thou have me, Rebecca Lamp? Yes. <laughs> I'm honored. <laughs> Your blessing, yes. She wants to hear her song. What art thou doing here? It's forbidden. I had to see you to apologize. But they'll, they'll punish thee. I'll have to take that chance. I have to see you somehow, somewhere. We, we've got to find a place. Ever since I first saw you. I know what they'll speak. For I feel the same. <laughs> Maybe you'd come back with me. Just for a visit. I wish that I could. Quickly. I was calling thee. I was feeding Cameo. She needs fresh hay. I'll help thee. Thou thinks more of thy horse than of me. She's had enough. <laughs> Come, we'll go to the hall. I'll not leave thee alone till I wet thee.
Why are you here? Oh, oh my God. Ah. What happened? Oh. It's nothing to worry about, Rick. I can see that. Oh, Jesus. Fine, I warned you. Oh, please, Mickey. Don't say I told you so. Sorry. It's hard to stand by and watch somebody you care about make a mistake. A mistake? Why is it a mistake? She's the sweetest, most beautiful girl. Ah! Ryan, she's engaged to be married. And even if she wasn't, you're worlds apart. I know that. But that shouldn't matter. When I see her, I don't know how to explain it. She's... All right. I understand. Hey, hey, what's going on? Rebecca Lamp. She died in her sleep. Wasn't she engaged to Reverend Grange? Let's see how Laura is. Forget about Laura. Let's find the quilt. Lord, we do not deny thy will. But why hast thou brought the seeds of evil among us, loosing this plague? Two of thy beloved children taken from us so suddenly, and we do not understand. Do not punish these, thy children. I cry out in the wilderness, what have I done to offend thee? If I have offended thee, let me be cut off from thy sight forever. Let me burn in the fires of hell! These deaths aren't accidents. It has to be the damn quilt. Yeah, but who is it? Who's got it? If I knew that, Mickey... Look, they were both engaged to Josiah. That's a, that, that's a link. Someone hates him enough to kill his fiancés. Or loves him. I'll ask Laura. Brian, you're not supposed to go near her. Laura! I should tell thee to go away. I wouldn't, even if you did. But they will persecute thee, shun thee. Will you? No. Look, I need to talk to you. Well, actually, I have some questions about your father. Or about someone who might want to marry him. My father's a very handsome man. Many women would like to be his bride. The Reverend's wife is very powerful among us. Should something happen to her husband, she becomes a new Reverend. Well, is there anyone more than any other who might care for him? Well, there's Effie Stokes. <laughs> She's been infatuated with my father long as I can remember, poor thing. The one with the glasses. She's so plain. Father hardly even notices her. Why are you asking me all this? Um, you wouldn't understand even if I told you. Poor Effie. Sometimes love can be so cruel. As children, we are taught that God's love is the purest, the most to be desired. They may be right or wrong. Thou wast told to keep far from him. Father, please! The fault was not wholly his, I... We shall settle this in the old way. What does that mean? There is to be a cleansing. What's a cleansing? Laura? Sarah! What's happening? 
What are they trying to do? They will fight. The loser falls into the cold. But that's barbaric. He's going to burn alive. But the colony will be cleansed. We call upon thee to cleanse us of this evil. Thy will be done. Amen. Amen. Look, Josiah, somebody's got to get hurt here. Do not attempt to plead with me. This evil shall trouble us no further. Look, I don't want to hurt you. Stand and fight. I was seeking something taken from me. Something I wish to have back. A quilt. Dost thou think I stole it? Effie, I think I know a little of thy soul. I saw thee when Reverend Grange passed over thee to pick Rebecca. And at her funeral I saw thine eyes and thy delight. Delight? Oh, surely thou art mistaken, sir. Surely what was in mine eyes was... What? Um, sorrow. Dismay that Josiah was again cheated. I think thou art evil, Effie Stokes. And plain. Don't forget plain. You see that? What she got him into, he could have been killed. What am I gonna do? I can't even talk to him anymore. The old Ryan I could understand, but this one. If it's God's will, then we should rejoice. And I have some news. Effie Stokes has the quilt. How do you know that? Well, I don't know. I believe it, though. Well, did she say something? Or... I searched her room. And? And she caught me. But she was... I've known Effie Stokes all my life. I say she has the quilt.
Thou looking for me. Where's the quilt? Quilt? That's it, the quilt of Hathor. What are they doing? That is mine. This is theft. Thou art evil, stealing from me. You killed three women. I don't know how, but you did it. Thou art mad. How dare thee? <laughs> Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Let's go. We got the quilt. But she's the killer. Who do you want to call as a witness? The Sandman? Oh, Lord. There is an evil in the land. The souls of men cry out against sin, yet sin reaps them like the winter wheat. Sarah Good, a sister of great joy, peace, and fellowship, is gone from us, and we cry out, Lord, where is thy justice? Their mercy! Mickey? You better hurry up. Train leaves in one hour. Mickey, I'll... I'm staying. You can't. Well, you, you've got the quilt. What about the other things? Ryan, this place is all wrong for you. Sorry, I've, I've made up my mind. I'm staying. <laughs> You're not a penitite. You love hot dogs and Saturday morning cartoons. Something more important to me. Laura. I think I'm in love with her, Mickey. And the way of life here, I'm, I feel like I have a sense of purpose, uh, um, a peace, something I've been looking for. What about the store? What about all the cursed objects we've let loose? What about Jack? What do I tell Jack? Do what we have to do. Don't you mouth platitudes at me. I deserve better. Oh, Mickey, Mickey, come on now. I could handle it because we face danger together. I can't do it alone. Jack will be fine. And you're strong. You don't need me anymore. I'll miss you.
to have fools and grays, pintos. Mickey, welcome back. Where's Ryan? He's not coming home. What happened? There was some girl, a pen and tight. He's staying up there? Looks that way. But he'd have to become a penitite. Ryan? I don't believe it. Neither did I, at first. Maybe you'll grow out of it? Of course, we've all got to follow our own path. I, if that's what he thinks he wants. Sure, I'm gonna miss him. Me too. We. I got the quilt. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, well done. I, I discovered this is the most marvelous, fascinating curse. You can dream whatever it is you want, but your dream becomes someone else's nightmare. <laughs> What are you doing? The real quilt can't be destroyed. It's a fake. <laughs> <laughs> 